So, you want to become a Lusophone student? Study abroad, meet new people, get to know a different country, interact with a totally different culture, or in other words, visit the California of Europe. Well, you are in the right place, or should I say, the right video. My name is Bruno, and with the help of my trusty but rusty English, I have prepared this video with helpful tips to make your journey a lot easier. So, before you travel, you need to make sure that you have everything you need. You need to bring your ID or passport. You also need to make sure that everything is up to date. If you're not a European Union citizen, you will need to prepare your study visa. Even if it's just for three months, you will also need to bring your European health insurance card. If you live in the European Union, of course. But if you live outside the Union, you just need to bring your health insurance policy. And since you're gonna stay here for a time, you will need a declaration of commitment that ensures that you will provide a residence permit in a near future. Another document you'll need to bring is your high school diploma. So we can verify that you survived the nightmare that is high school. If you never went to high school, we would just need a diploma of something equivalent to high school. And of course, try to get a place to stay. That's kind of a big deal. You can look for an apartment, rent a room, or even stay at a residency for students. The world is your oyster. Ah, and bring money with you. You're going to need it. Our coin is the euro. If you are in an academic mobility program, you will need to check with the International Relations Office in your university for the required documents. The required documents are as follow. Your candidacy form, your academic registration bulletin, your language course application form, and your application form for university residence. And last but not least, check if your university's International Relations Office has inform the educational institution where you will be studying about the day of your arrival and the day of your departure. And I think that's it. I hope you enjoy your stay and make the best of it. Best wishes.